about anything. Oh. Who will time? One time, say one yeah. time. I'm gonna die. Oh. 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 And it's really cool if you go on Google. If you go, if I had a computer right now, I go on Google. They actually have a countdown clock that shows you the mind countdown clock. How much time you got left? How many days? How many hours? How many seconds? How many minutes? Everything. So, Why did they count seconds? Because hey, I don't know. How did they, how how did they know? How did they count no seconds? How do they know? These are the people that invented the calendar system that we feel. But how do they Very know? What's going how do they know? The I don't know, man. I mean, that's what I mean. Historically, there's a cool thing on the History well, Channel. You're the best at it's well, a, you see on History Channel, it's called ancient. It's it. called ancient aliens and all that cool oh, stuff. Oh, I saw that. Well, they actually talk about it. But the Mayans are credited with creating the calendar system that we follow. So think about it. If we've been following that calendar system since the beginning, right? Whoa. Why would we doubt them now? When it comes to 2012. Whoa. Because we don't want to die. Because we don't uh, want to know that we're going to die. Nobody wants to know uh, that we're going to die. So it's pretty interesting. But this is what makes don't science don't this is what makes science so interesting. And like I said, uh, Gary, all these planets, me? particularly the sun, the sun, even though we take it for granted every day when you wake up, it's going to be there. Even the sun has an expiration date. One day, probably not in our lifetime, it's going to go out. Okay, yeah, yeah. Look at all the stars. Could it be? Could, could the minds be wrong? Because like, um, on one time on the Chinese or English newspaper, it says that on like January or something, or like last year uh -huh. on September or something, in six thirty the world will end. Really? Uh -huh. And then and then nothing will happen. It even says that in the newspaper and in Google, and it says that. Um, on 6.30 at night time, the world will end. What I think is crazy is like people make these predictions and they say, okay, the world's going to end. Everybody just sits around waiting for it to happen. <laughs> <laughs> so, it's like, okay. so it's like, okay, it, the world's going to end at 6 o'clock. And everybody just stands around at 5.59. <laughs> and, and you're just waiting for it to happen. How come you're not like running into your basement or trying to build shelter or whatever? Why not? Because you can't survive because um, if the planet explodes, then you have you just have to go to space. You can't like stay in that planet. So yeah, what we, we should, have so what we should be doing right now is what we should all be trying to what buy what spaceship. Spaceship, right? Yeah. You, if anything, well, you want to be. What happened if a person died in spaceship? What did they just put the <coughs> put it in a coffin, put it in the then they and send it out into space. Or like well, that. yeah, they could do that. But the best place to be, let's say, for example, it's 12, 21, 12, right? The best place to be would be to be what? In outer space as an astronaut looking down on the Earth to but see what's going to happen. But you guys are too young. So the best chance you got right now is to just hope that the Mayans are wrong. Because like she said, if the world is going to explode, there's really nothing you can do. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Why do you want to do that? How? Listen, I'll show you right now. Look. How <laughs> get spaceship from the dad? What's cool about? And like I said, right. This has nothing to do. This is science. Now, one thing about science, right? If you're looking at science, Ow. yo, you got this sun. Okay. Like I said, this is the sun. Big ball of hot. Without the sun, without the sun, life can't exist. Boom. So. Minus the sun, if you minus the sun, life minus the sun, water. Life minus the sun equals what? Death. Just nothing, okay? Nothing, okay? Sun survival. Nothing. So here's the idea. What we're trying to say is you need the sun, but the sun works with what? Gravity. Works All right. And it works with inertia. It doesn't matter. The sun doesn't even care about us. Like, it's one top dying before the sun. And the whole idea is, what? remember when we were learning about the frog and the tadpole and how it has a life cycle? Yeah. Well, the solar system has a, life, has a life cycle too, believe it or not. Now, do we know? Can we predict? No, we don't really know. But oh, I know one of the life cycles. We spend, we, so hold on a we spend a lot of time studying what? Planets, stars, alignment, all that stuff, trying to predict. Where's the planet that we're trying to visit right now? Mars. Mars. Okay, so we're spending all this money to go to Mars to find out if what can exist there. Aliens. Life. Forget about aliens. We want to know that if something happens, can we jump across the boat and get onto another planet and start this whole thing again, right? But then uh -huh. you would need a lot of spaceships. You need a lot of spaceships. This is more than a billion dollars. The whole point is, we're looking for what? Other places that we could potentially what? So, 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 right. so now, the idea is... Is Mars, is Mars, does Mars seem like a viable option? Yeah, because what do they say they see on Mars? They have what? water, water, no oxygen, dirt. water, oxygen, yeah. That's so, oxygen? Not oxygen, yeah. Not but the idea is, if you got water, if water is there, what can you produce? Plants. 
Forget that small word. If you have water, you can produce life. life. Okay, so now you can't have what life without water. So the idea is, what are these astronauts, what are these scientists telling us? They say, hey man, we recognize that there's a potential that one day the Earth is going to expire. So before it does, before it does, what we want to do is we want to make sure that we get out to Mars and stake our claim. Now, what other countries are also exploring space? 